before I continue, you know, I just still want to drop in the same line what the Lord was declaring to us yesterday. Amen. That the, a man is as strong as his helper. Yes. A nation is as strong as her ally. So we are strong as God our helper. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. We are strong as our God. Because our God is the strongest. Amen. Greater is he that is in us than he that is in the world. Amen. Amen. The Bible said in Matthew chapter 10 verse 24. Matthew 10 24. Praise the living Jesus. Amen. He said the disciple is not above his master. Nor the servant above his Lord. Amen. The disciple is not above his master. Not the servant above his Lord. When we're declaring yesterday we are strong as God. We are not God. But because God is our helper. You are as strong as your helper. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. The strength of God is our strength. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. When God decides to release that strength, none can stop him. At all. And the Bible says here that the disciple is not above his master. Mm -hmm. Not his servant above his Lord. Mm -hmm. But, verse 25, hallelujah, this is the good news. That was good news, but this is the good news. <laughs> Praise the Lord. He said, it is enough mm -hmm. for the disciple that he be as his master. Hallelujah. Did you see that? Yes. It is enough, hallelujah, Amen. that the disciples be as his master. Now, who is the master? Who is the disciple? Mm. Jesus is the master. Mm. We are his disciples. Mm. And he's telling us, you are not above me. But it is enough that you be as me. Hallelujah. Is somebody hearing what I'm yes. saying? He said, and the servant as his Lord. Mm. Amen? 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 So the servant can be as his Lord. The disciples can be as his master. And the plan and the purpose of the Father Amen. is that we be as our master. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Because our master is in us. Amen. Our master is with us. Amen. Our master is for us. Amen. So we are as, as our master. Hallelujah. See, I am, I am as my master. As my master. See, I am, I am as my master. As my master. Jesus, Christ Jesus Christ is my master. I am his disciple. his disciple. Jesus Christ is my Lord. And I am his servant. I am as my master. I am as anointed. As my master. Because his anointing is available to me. Do you understand what I'm saying? Hello? I am as blessed as my master. See, we, need, we are stepping up. This is new level. new level. The Lord is taking us. The Lord has taken us to a new level. Amen. 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 So a new level requires new thinking. Amen. Are you following what I'm saying now? This is the thinking that we are not. See, this is the mystery why the Bible refers to us as kings. In every kingdom, subjects are subjects. Subjects are not kings. Do you understand? In, in kingdoms, you have citizens, then you have the king. Praise the Lord. Amen. But in the kingdom of God, the subject are kings. Did you get that? Did you get that? The subjects are what? Kings. The Bible says he has made us kings and priests. Why did Christ, the king, make us kings? Amen? Amen. The mystery of the king. Is that the reason why we are kings? Because we cannot be servants as sons. Why couldn't we be servants? Because the spirit of the king is in us. Hallelujah. Do you understand what I'm saying? The spirit of the king is in us. So we cannot be anything less than God. Hello? Amen. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Yes. The spirit of the king is in the sons and daughter of the king. So the spirit of the kings make them kings or else they will be less 
than sons. Mm. Oh, Samaki. Oh, yes. Amen. It is enough for the disciples that he be as his master. Look at Galatians 4. Galatians 4. Oh, Rabo is giving Moshe Kaba. The Lord is changing our thinking. Amen. For seven, for seven. Galatians 4 7. Oh, Rabba, Baba, Bashi, the King of See, I'm changing. I'm changing. I am soaring higher. I'm, I'm going to a new dimension. I'm going to a new dimension. Now, let's, let's go back to 4. Take it from 4. Mm, 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 mm. Amen. He said, but when the fullness is that's not good, let's take it from verse 1. He said, now I say that the heir, as long as is a child, differeth not from the servant, though he be lord of all. A heir, an heir, when he's a child, is not different from the servant. He said, but it's under two thousand governors until the time appointed of the father. Even so we, when we were children, we were in bondage under the element of the world. But when the fullness of the time was come, God sent forth his son. Somebody say, God sent forth his son. Made of a woman. That is born of a woman. Made under the law. To redeem them that were under the law. That we might receive the adoption of sons. Jesus came to die that we might receive the adoption of sons. So that we can be moved from servants to sons. From slaves to sons. Are you following what I'm saying? We have been adopted by God. When the parent wants a child and they adopt a child, that child takes their name. It is their legal child. Do you understand what I'm saying? So we are legal child of God by adoption. He adopted us by the blood of the Lamb. Amen. 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 Having adopted us. Praise the Lord. The Bible said in verse 6, He did not just adopt our body, he recreated our spirit. The Bible says, verse 6, and because you are sons, somebody say, because we are sons. Because we are sons. Uh, because you are sons. God has sent forth the spirit of his son into your heart, crying, Abba, Father. Wherefore, thou art no more a servant, but a son. And if a son, then an heir of God through Christ. That is enough to make a large and say, praise the Lord. And you are looking at me. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. He said, because we are sons, mm. God sent forth the spirit of his sons mm. into our hearts. Amen. Are you following what I'm saying? Mm. Cry, Abba, Father. Therefore, you are no longer a slave. No. You are no longer just a servant. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Why? The spirit of his son in you Amen. made you a king because it is the spirit of the king Amen. that is living in us. Amen. So for us to be anything less than the king will not suffice. Mm -hmm. So God gave us mm -hmm. the status of a king. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Do you understand what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. You are looking at me as if you don't know what right. I'm talking about. He gave us the status of a king. Revelation 2. So Revelation 1. Let's take it 5 and 6. Revelation 1, 5. He said, from Jesus, who is the faithful witness and the first begotten of the dead, and the prince of the kings of the earth. He is the prince. The prince is the first in order, the ruler. Amen? The chief. He is the chief among the kings of the earth. He's not talking about the non-natural kings. He's talking about us. You see it now. He said, unto him that loved us and washed us from our sins with his own blood. My God. And has made us what? And has made us what? Let's read together. Kings. And has made us kings, kings and priests unto God and his Father. To him be glory and dominion forever and ever. Amen. Hallelujah. The Bible says he has made us kings and priests. He washed us with his blood. He put his spirit in us. By virtue of his spirit in us, we have become kings. Praise the Lord. Amen. We are no longer slaves. And that is what Jesus is saying. 
it is enough that the servants be as his Lord, that the disciples be as their master. Hallelujah. Amen. Say, I am, I am as my Lord. As my Lord. I, am I am as my master. As my master. First John chapter 3. First John chapter 3. We take it from verse 1. First John chapter 3, verse 1. What manner of love the Father has bestowed upon us that we should be called the sons of God. Oh, Therefore, the world knoweth us not. They don't understand who we are. He said, because it knew him not. Because they don't know God, so they don't know who we are. And that is why we need to manifest for them to know. Our lifestyle is supposed to be different from them so that they will know. Are you following what I'm saying? Verse 2. He said, Beloved, now are we the sons of God. And it does not yet appear what we shall be. But we know that when he shall appear, we shall be like him. For we shall see him as he is. Verse 3. And every man that hath this hope in him purify himself, even as he is pure. Verse 4. Praise the Lord. Whosoever commits sin transgress also the law. For the sin is the transgression of the law. Verse 5. Let's continue. And you, and you know that he was manifested to take away our sins. And in him is no sin. Continue. Let's just jump. Let's jump to. Jump to verse number. It's. He that commits sin is of the devil, for the devil sinned from the beginning. Mm -hmm. For this purpose, the Son of God was manifested, that he will destroy the works of the devil. Mm -hmm. Whatsoever is born of God does not commit sin. For his seed remaineth in him, and he cannot sin because he is born of God. Mm -hmm. The seed of God remaineth in him. Mm -hmm. The seed of God is in us. Amen. The seed of greatness is in us. The seed of the supernatural is in us. Amen. The seed of power is in us. Amen. The seed of favor is in us. Amen. The seed of peace is in us. Amen. The seed of wisdom is in us. Amen. The seed of God is in us. It is the seed of the Father that is in the child. Yes. Do you understand what I'm saying? It is the seed of the Father that pregnated the woman that gave birth to the child. He said the seed of God is in you. The divinity is in you. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Are you following what I'm saying? Yes. Say, I, I cannot fail. I, cannot fail. I, will I will not fail. For the seed of the God, God remains in me. The nature of God remains in me. The blood of Christ flows in me. Amen? We need to understand where we are coming from. We need to understand who we are and who we are. See, it is enough. It is sufficient that I be as my master. I am as strong as my master. I am strong in the Lord and in the power of his mind. Oh, hallelujah. Ephesians 6 10. Ephesians 6 10. Are you receiving that? Oh, yes. It said, Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord. And in the power of his might. Hallelujah. Be strong, not in yourself, but in the Lord. Say, I am strong in the Lord. Say, I am strong in the Lord. And in the power of his might. The power of his might. Hallelujah. So you are movable. You are unshakable. Do you understand? Yes. Fear has no place to hide in you. Oh, Sickness
Sickness has no place to hide in you. Disease has no place to hide in you. Amen? Amen. Now let's continue. In Mark chapter 3, where we read yesterday, we're talking about being an instrument of harvest. And yesterday I kept saying instrument of righteousness. Yes, an instrument of harvest is an instrument of righteousness. We will see the connection here now. Praise the Lord. That the instrument of right, the instrument of harvest is an instrument of righteousness. Praise the Lord. Righteousness is what we do as instruments that bring glory to God. As God's instrument, when we are living for God, amen, the aftermath effect is righteousness. Because we are instrument of harvest. We do it by being an instrument of, of, of good works. Hallelujah. Productive instruments. Mark chapter 3, verse 13. Mark 3, 13. Hallelujah. And he went up into a mountain and called unto him whom he would. And they came unto him. God calls whom he chooses. Mm. Nobody can decide for God who are you using this. Mm. Amen? Amen? God decides the vessel oh, yes. that he uses. Mm. he uses. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. He called the one he wanted. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Let's read the Amplified Version. And he went up on the his side and called to him for himself. Mm. Mm. Hallelujah. Amen. He went up to the his side mm. and called. Oh, he, yes. the, he was standing among the crowd. He stood aloof and climbed the mountain mm. and have a better view mm. and called. Oh, yes. He said he called to him mm. for himself. Mm. <laughs> when God called you, he called you for, for himself. himself. Not for you. Yes. Not for you, but for himself. Hallelujah. Amen. It's good that we have that emphasis. Yes. Those whom he wanted sure. and choose, and they came to him. Those he wanted. Yes. He wanted you. Amen. He wanted me. Amen. We are not an accident. Yes. This is enough mm -hmm. to make us excited. Oh, yes. it, it is in this we have security. Uh -huh. This is our confidence. Mm -hmm. Amen? Amen? That we are wanted by God. So it does not matter who does not Not's want all. you. Because God wants me. He created me in his image and likeness. Mm -hmm. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Overwhelming love. Mm -hmm. he, he, he keeps on chasing us down. There is no mountain that he will not climb. Uh -huh. Praise the Lord. There is no war he won't tear down. Yes. There is no lie he won't tear down. Yes, Just to reach me. us. Yes. It's overwhelming love Thank of God. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord. And, and I believe, I think sometimes everything we hear, everything we see, it's in our head. That is why it doesn't influence us. It must go to your heart. It is when it gets to your heart, that is when it becomes effective. It is in the heart that the word works, that the song works. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. 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 We must meditate on the truth we hear. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Listening with the intention to do. That is what the Bible says, hacking to the word. Amen. Amen. You can hear, everybody can hear. But it takes a, 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 a pure heart. To hack him. Amen. Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah. Verse number 14. The Amplified. And he appointed to well to continue to be with him. Mm -hmm. He appointed what? To well mm -hmm. to continue mm -hmm. to be with uh -huh. him. And that he might send them out to preach. Mm -hmm. As apostles or special messengers. Mm -hmm. But first of all. He did not call them to send them. Mm -hmm. He called them to be with him. Mm -hmm. To continue to be with him. Mm -hmm. 
Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. The traditional King James said, he, and he ordained twelve that they should be with him. And he ordained twelve that they should do what? Be with him. And they command first before end. The first thing first is be with him. Then come and end. Praise the Lord. That he might send them forth to preach. So he did not just call them to send them. No, he called them to be with him. Amen. Amen. It's when you love him. When you love him, then you can take him out. Are you following what I'm saying? Amen. Like I said, when when we are wanting people to come to the house of God to do the things of God, it's because they don't love God. Mm -hmm. Oh, because they don't love God. When you see somebody 